My next guest uh, only began her African concert series last year. African art music makes a comeback, said one headline. The young pianist Rebecca Omordia's festival will be online this year, starting next week. And she joins me in a moment or two after some music by uh, Fred Onovuelos Owoke. If she'll pronounce, correct my pronunciation, but uh, before that, a little piece by um, Io Bancole. <laughs> That was a Raging River Dance, uh, 24th of 24 Studies in Africa, written by Fred Onovuelosuoke, played by Rebecca Omordia. How do I do in the pronunciation, Rebecca? Yes, that's correct. It, I can understand now why in America people just call him Fred O. I got his friends Fred and I just o. call him <laughs> Fred O. Uh, anyway, lovely to have you with us. And, uh, yes, thank, thank you. you. Good to see you. Yeah, you're so busy. Um, I, I mean, the African concert series started last year. Terrifically uh, appreciated. But you're online this year, so can you can you do quite a lot? Do you think? 
Oh, yes. Well, uh, we are bringing the whole African concert series online in one week of daily performances. Um, there will be short performances uh, live streamed on uh, the African concert series Facebook mm. page. And um, each concert will reflect uh, an aspect of the African art music. Uh, the richly diverse genre, which is a blend of uh, Western classical music and African traditional uh, melodies and rhythms. Yeah, because it's very definitely, but listen to Ayo and Fred's music there. It's very, very definitely, okay, um, um, African rhythm and, and influence, but very much in the Western canon. Yes, exactly. And uh, even Ayo Bankole, who was one of uh, Nigeria's most prolific composers, and his music sounds more re European and African uh, to European ears. But to Nigerian ears, for instance, they can recognize um, Yoruba melodies and rhythms and that's what I think is so fascinating about the music that uh, the composers compose in a classical style, but they use melodies and rhythms, and of course, from their own tribe. And um, um, that's what makes it very diverse mm. because in Africa, each African country has a multitude of uh, ethnic tribes with yeah, their own music. A... Yeah. yeah, well, I think Fred, I think, said that Africa is a real gold mine, traditions and rhythms, and, and he says largely untapped. I mean, presumably not in the particular countries or in particular communities. Does he, do you think he means, as far as we're concerned, for art music? Yes, it, he means as far as we from the Western world are concerned, mm. especially that we don't know African music. And uh, the aim of the African composers was to bring uh, the African culture to Europe, to the European, to the Western world, through a language that the Western world understands, and that's Western yeah. classical music. So. Absolutely. Well, this from I tell you, this from a, a polyglot figure like you, who I have to say, not only you're part Nigerian, part Romanian, you have got such a passion for English music. I mean, um, you're actually doing your doctorate, you're in, in the piano music of John Ireland, um, oh, and yes. everybody loves your loves your playing. What 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 got you into that? Oh, well, it's everything, actually. Even the Nigerian music and even John Allen music started uh, um, when I became partners with cellist Julian Lloyd Webber about 10 years ago. And, of course, um, you played with Julian, yes. <laughs> By the way, I have to say, you, Rebecca, you talk even faster than I do. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That means your your brain's going fast. That's your brain's going fast. It's, it, it's John Allen. I know you played Delius with him as well. Um, and uh, have you done the doctorate yet, by the way? On, yes, on John I Allen? did. You did. I did, and uh, now I'm working on publishing the book. It's in Romanian language, and uh, the thesis is going to be published as a book in the Romanian language later mm. this year. And um, in fact, uh, my very first performance with Julian Lloyd was in or uh, in in. Radio 3 studio performing yes. in Ireland and Dilius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ago, so. Oh, it only seems like yesterday. I remember when we had things like studios and real people performing music. But anyway, it's lovely, lovely to have you with us. And I hope the, the festival goes very well. You're also doing, I think, are you doing Friday at Birmingham, Royal Birmingham Conservatoire? Uh, we were scheduled to, I was scheduled to perform um, so that's not going the premiere ahead, no. of Errol in Wall and piano concerto commissioned by yeah. the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire, but this has been to be postponed for next year. And um, okay. fingers crossed. <laughs> We all uh, well, well, your, your African concert series is online from the 22nd. I know you're playing on, on the 29th. Um, and we've got um, um, uh, Marouane Ben Abdallah playing A Little Nocturne next by Nabil Ben Abdel El Jalil. Uh, it, where, where are we here? I think he's based in uh, Cas in Casablanca, Morocco. isn't he? In Morocco. Yes, we are in North Africa. Um, it's a very uh, sensual music, I would say. Uh, uh, composer Nabil Ben Abdel Jalil, he's even though he studied in uh, Ukraine, uh, he went back to Morocco and he experimented with uh, Arab music and rhythms. And uh, uh, this particular piece of is part of a much bigger project by Marwan Ben Abdallah, who is exploring the music of um, okay. composers from the Arab world. Uh, and well, there's so much to explore. So, there's so much there's to discover. So there's much. so much to discover. So much. Rebecca, great pleasure to have you with us. And thank you very much indeed. And hope the festival goes exceedingly well. Well, thank you, Sean.
Maroon, Ben of Della with the Nocturnal One by Nabil, Ben of Del Jalil, and that's a private uh, recording. But you'll hear more, of course, in the African concert series, which uh, Rebecca Amordia is uh, doing, started last year, but it's online this year, of course. The inevitable, the inevitable, from uh, next week, from the 22nd of June, and she's playing herself on the 29th.